Hi, I'm Kristen. I'm P. And we've got Blair behind the camera. Hi. Today we're going to review for you guys the Bunch E Hard to Like. Squeeze them on in. With a front bucket that can hold up to four kids and seat belts for all, including five point harnesses, there's plentiful room in the bunch bike to roam the streets of your town. In reality, I think it'd be pretty crowded with four kids, but kids are adaptable and don't mind squeezing too much. If you don't have it filled to maximum human capacity, there's plenty of room for a child or two, plus a dog, groceries, library books, and more. The bunch bike has the entire bucket available for cargo. This means you can make quite the haul. We've spent the better part of the fall using the bunch bike for soccer duty. We've loved being able to haul the kiddo, soccer ball, camp chair and blanket, water bottle, and snacks to practices and games without ever getting in the car. While the bunch is clearly designed to be a kiddo carrying machine, there's no reason you can't use the bunch sans kiddo to carry cargo as well. We've used the bunch for picking up groceries and running other errands even when we've been out solo. We also appreciated that the benches have plentiful storage underneath. This means that even when the bucket is full of kiddos, there's still space for gear under their seats. We fit takeout dinner, library books, and more in the seats. If you don't have kids in the bike, you can remove the benches and seat belts for additional cargo carrying space as well. If there's not enough space in the bucket, you still have the rear rack. We managed to put a burly seat on the rear rack and you can also use it for a milk crate or panniers. As a diehard bicyclist, I never would have picked a trike on my own, but I've ended up loving it. If you're accustomed to riding a bicycle, it does take some getting used to riding a trike. It probably took me three days of riding before I felt comfortable, so don't panic if you don't like it right away. With the bunch, the whole front half of the bike turns and the back half is independent. This feels very weird at first, but just takes some getting used to. What we've loved about the trike is how stable and comfortable we feel riding with our son. On the bunch bike, we don't worry at all about tipping. We also love how easy it is to stop and to get going again. The one caveat to all of this is that for a heavier rider like myself, it's possible to tip the trike if it's unloaded. I'm a 250 pound dude and riding around on the trike, I can tip it up onto two wheels if I, if I intentionally try to. I also can feel flex in the rear end of the frame, so the bunch might not be the best choice for heavier riders. Keep in mind, that's all when the trike is unloaded. The electric assist is pretty much mandatory for this bike. It's heavy all on its own. And loaded up with cargo, this isn't the kind of bike that you're going to be able to power up a hill without a motor. I suppose if you're riding the bike a mile to school and back on an entirely flat road, you might get away without it. But if you're riding any further on any sort of incline, you're going to want to buy the e-assist version. Hills are pretty tough to climb with the motor, let alone without it. The e-assist version has a 500 watt hub drive motor. And this was actually our first time riding a bike with a hub drive motor and it performed a bit differently than we were accustomed to. Compared to other e-bikes we've ridden, it felt a little punchy at times, vacillating between on and off. Aside from getting used to it, this really wasn't a big deal. We had plenty of power on all but the steepest hills. Although it takes work even in the turbo assist setting. The big draw to a hub drive motor as opposed to a mid drive motor is that it's lower maintenance. Unless you want to be at the bike shop a bunch, this is a big attraction. The bike has plenty of range for everyday commuting. I was able to run errands around town several days in a row before I needed to bother plugging the bike in. The official range is 35 miles. The battery level is displayed on both on the battery on the rear rack and the digital display. Supposedly the battery display is more accurate, but I found that the two usually mirrored each other pretty precisely. The digital display shows your battery level, speed, and power level. It also indicates if your lights are on. The final thing worth mentioning on the e-assist is the throttle lever. This thumb lever allows you to get a bit of power without pedaling and is handy when you're having trouble getting going after a complete stop or when walking the bike over a curb or something like that. As it's gotten darker this fall, we've appreciated the built-in lights on the bunch bike and have used them quite a few times trying to rush home before dark. There's both a front headlight and a rear tail light. While the lights provide a fair bit of visibility, the headlight wasn't quite bright enough for our riding around in the dark. If you live in a more urban area with lots of lights, you might be okay. But in our neighborhood, we need to add a night rider or some other light on the bars as well. The bunch offers powerful Tektro hydraulic disc brakes that do a great job of stopping. We live at the top of a fairly steep hill, and we both felt comfortable riding down it even when fully loaded with gear. Hydraulic disc brakes do a super job of stopping with heavy loads when compared to mechanical disc brakes, and they perform better in wet weather. This was important to us as we want to be able to ride a cargo bike year-round rather than having to drive. We do have to mention that the brakes are quite squeaky. And while this didn't affect the function of the brakes, it was a little obnoxious. 
The biggest complaint we've had with the bunch bike is that it can provide a pretty jarring ride at times. To go over speed bumps, for instance, we have to come to a near complete stop. When we end up going too fast over a pothole in the road or any other uneven surface, it causes our sun to bounce pretty severely in the bucket. One nice thing about the bunch bike is that it can be used by multiple adults of different heights. With a range of 5'5 five five for my wife, myself at 5'11, and my sister-in-law at 5 feet, we all three have ridden our, and are comfortable on the bike. It's getting pretty wet, rainy, and snowy in Idaho right now, so we've put the cover on the bunch bike. With the cover on and a blanket inside, the kiddo stays warm and cozy. Compared to a long-tail cargo bike, for instance, this additional protection from the elements makes the bunch an attractive option for parents who want to use the bike year-round as a car alternative. We've received a lot of bikes over the years, but we've never received one that required zero assembly until now. The bunch is delivered directly to your door on a pallet, totally assembled. I hope you found this review helpful. Thanks for watching and make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell.